she had a call in. I'm set this up. She had a call in. She had it on Zoom. I guess they had tighter control on Zoom. But I got in. She saw me back there. I was making comments backstage, so to speak. As soon as she saw me, then she's like, we got to start wrapping this up. She could have taken the damn call, but she didn't want to do that. But here's what she had to say. Fuck them kids and them dresses. I hope them little motherfuckers die. Like, she's mad at black kids for, for teasing her. She's mad at the whole world and everybody. And Monica's funny because Monica will blow up and go the fuck off on me. But then Monica be like, well, girl, I just want you to understand me. So Monica want to be heard. Monica, we going to let you be heard because I want to have this transgender conversation. So I hope that you will be here tomorrow um, when we come back because I don't have a problem having she conversations with you. I really don't. Um, Monica is really mad. Monica's also really hurt. So I want to hear about that because I've had plenty of conversations with Monica, um, you know, in email and everything else. So in case y'all haven't got that yet, Monica is a transgender um, woman. I, I I think I'm saying it right. I don't know. Don't get mad at me if I'm saying it wrong. But she's a man and wants to be a woman, right? And so, um, you know, that's why she's so upset when we started having that conversation about transgenders. So um, you, so we'll get into that conversation tomorrow. Hopefully um, we'll be back. But Monica, talking about that's all I'm asking for. Monica, but you know, I always talk, not hit that notification bell. Uh, From if you look at the hall, and only then can you trickle out into your community. We're gonna do it. So y'all will see me um uh, tomorrow too. I'll be back live. So for everybody that called in, I want to thank you for being on the line. I apologize if you didn't get in. Alquan, that's your name. Fuck you. I sent you in the chat. You call in every time I um have a call in and you always call with some bullshit like when i get on the phone i think the last time I, you called in you asked me um well you're out here fighting for the black community why aren't you fighting for the polish community and i said to you well what does the polish community need help with please uh, um let me know this well what is it i should be fighting for and you don't have an answer for that so i'm sure you'll be back here tomorrow because you like you love to get on here and talk shit and i would love to have a conversation with you i wonder if monica will be back tomorrow i'm sure she will monica be on all of She says she wanted to have that conversation. I want to have it too. But <laughs> the problem was she never came back. <laughs> See, she didn't come back. She didn't do it live again. So we couldn't have that conversation. So she 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 BS'd. And on top of that, when I did ask her, what did she do for the Polish community? That time, that's that's when she had that Dr. Shona with her. I guess they split up. But I got hung up on after I asked that question. <laughs> so that's why uh, we couldn't have that conversation at that time. So she's bullshitting. Now, she seems like she, she seems like she should be open, but she's seen the videos I made on her just like Tariq Nasheed has seen the videos that I made on him. That's why he has been listening to my shit and stealing my shit and stealing the shit of the guests that I've had on here. Now, we laid a trap for this guy, Tariq Nashi. Now, other people don't know that I, tra I laid a uh, trap for this guy. But we're going to see if this man falls for the trap. <laughs> and anybody else who wants to uh, steal, we're going to see if they, they're going to fall for the trap that's been laid out. <laughs> Just be patient. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Because once they start stealing, and once you start hearing it, there's going to be no doubt that it came from here. No doubt about that. Let's see. A bit off topic. A Nigerian woman who played Harriet Tubman played Aretha Franklin. Now, I ain't see that yet. Matter of fact, I'm just hearing about the salt and pepper one and leaving out Spinderella today. I'm like, because I don't really, you know, I don't have cable like that. But apparently Lifetime is showing it complete on their website. So I might check that out after I get off of here, <laughs> see what they do on that. I guess they didn't want to pay Spinderella. You know, a lot of groups, once that money starts slowing down, you have people, usually a lot of times it's one person, the one who trademarked the group's name, or could be two. They start saying to themselves, you know what? I ain't sharing what little bit of money there is that's left. So <laughs> I 
think y'all think motherfuckers are stupid. Sometimes they just pimping and pandering and hustling us, and they know exactly what the fuck they doing. Okay. Um. Oh God, Alquan, like get off my live, nigga. You follow me everywhere, trying to ignore you. I nobody's ignoring you. Nobody gives a fuck about you. You show up every motherfucking time I turn around. You follow me on Instagram too? Leave me the fuck alone. You need to get a life, motherfucker, okay? Do that shit. Get a life. Stop writing my dick that I don't have, okay? Everywhere we go, you and my motherfucking chat. Why you ignore me? Why you want to debate me? Nigga, shut the fuck up. It it, don't nobody need to talk to you? I, I I don't know. Leave me alone, okay? Stop stop trying to ride the wave and get me to give you some attention. I don't get no fuck about you. Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone, boy. Anyway. So they have this racist ass history, okay? And they have these nooses everywhere. This is the root of GM, right? They're racist as fuck. So let me take, follow me because we're going somewhere. I promise you, you need to pay attention, right? I know, fuck Alquan. He need to go on and get a goddamn life. We ain't here talking about something serious and then it's a nigga talking about, well, why you keep ignoring me? Boy, go run in the motherfucking street and play with some cars. Do us all a favor, okay? Your wife must be ashamed of you if you have one. Who the fuck be online fucking, <laughs> fucking bothering people all day long? Nigga, run along and play in traffic, bitch. So, anyway, understand. These motherfuckers had a national story. Only once they got sued did they decide. And guess who getting the cut of that shit for playing this fucking game, Tamika? So you do you don't you you don't get to do that, right? And Alquan, get the fuck up off my chat. How do you block a nigga here? You are on my last motherfucking nerve. You are constantly in this motherfucker running your mouth, bitch. Go away, go away, go away. You niggas be fucking looking for attention. Get the fuck up off my live. I can't stand you motherfuckers sometimes. Nigga always in here got something to say. And it's always one of you fucking men. Nigga go put on a skirt like the rest of these motherfuckers out here you feminized. Because bitch that's what you belong in. I'm so tired of you fucking old girly ass niggas. Boy, you have been fucking harassing me for years. And every time a motherfucker get in a position where you can say some shit and it's not YouTube, you always in this motherfucker running your mouth. Alquan, suck a dick and get the fuck up off my live. I can't stand you old bitch ass men. And yes, I said that because for as much as I show brothers love, you niggas is too many motherfucking bitches around here for me. I am so tired of you bitch ass men. You make black men look bad. Nigga, get the fuck up off my live. Stop harassing me, nigga. Go somewhere else to get some attention. I know your YouTube channel little as fuck, but nigga, we not finna build your shit off me, okay? Get the fuck up off my live, you stupid ass nigga. We talking about shit that makes sense, and y'all always in here on some bullshit. Wonder why the fuck we can't get nowhere. We can't get nowhere because the niggas like Alquan and bitches like Tamika. This is why. Because it's always a nigga ready to take a nigga the motherfucking down or be the goddamn distraction. We can't get to the real enemy because I got to fight you bitch motherfuckers before I do. Well, baby, let me tell you something. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All skin folk ain't kin folk, all right? So we can lay you niggas down in the ditch, in the mass grave with the rest of these motherfuckers. All of this just because we black, you ain't an enemy. Nigga, you the worst enemies because don't nobody know about your ignorance and your distraction until it's already done, like Tamika. Now, somebody go run and tag Tamika in this. Tell Tamika we would like an answer. And I'm being real because I said a lot of stuff on the last video that I did on YouTube for the past couple of days. And out of everything I said, I did not bring this up. I said many things and I got and I, and I didn't even give y'all this. So how many more things?